Hello, um, today I'm gonna talk about using Microsoft Excel in solving a set of uh, nonlinear algebraic equations. So last time we saw how we can solve a set of uh, linear algebraic equations using matrices operations and uh, like to do the determinant and then get the inverse and multiply and do all this stuff and uh, this only applies for the algebraic equation so if you have a set of non algebraic non i mean linear algebraic equation so if you have a set of non linear equations like the equation that you have here you have something to the power of something um, more than one or to have two uh, variables multiplied by each other or you have sine cosine whatever thing then uh, in this case it will be uh, you will not be able to solve it using the matrices so uh, I'm gonna show today uh, two ways to solve these set of equations. So um, we're gonna use the solver uh, technique in Excel, and uh, we will do the solution by assuming a value and using solver to uh, change the values till we get the right values of the variables that fulfill the equations. So what we uh, are doing now, we assume x, y, and z. We'll assume any values. Let's say one. Two, three, whatever value that you want to assume, and then uh, you'll write the equations that you have. So you have equation one, equation two, and equation three, and you'll write the equations or calculate the equations based on the assumed values. And, and as we said before, if the values that assume the right, then the equations will give the same, uh, or the the the, the equation that you write will give the right hand side that you have here. If not, you will not get the right hand side. So the first equation it says that you have x to the power of 3 minus 2 multiplied by y and it's not 2 so it's not the right solution and the second equation it says x to the power of 3 minus 5 multiplied by z and oops it's not z it's uh, this and the final equation it says y multiplied by z to the power of 2 minus 1 so none of them is right uh, or none of the equation got the right answer so uh, uh, the first technique will I, I'll write here first the negative the, the values that we have or that we should get and um, the first technique will be pretty easy you just go to data and go to solver and now uh, let's say I wanna I want the first equation to be uh, it should be two, and I'll change the cells x, y, and z that I calculated based on them. And uh, if I uh, press solve, then I'll just solve the first equation, but the second and third equation will not be fulfilled. So what I'm gonna do is to use this constraint option in Excel uh, or in Solver. So I'll add a constraint that the second equation has to be equal to negative seven, as it should, and another uh, constraint that the equation three should be equal to zero. Okay. And then I'll press OK. So I have now the three equations written and the solver will solve based on the first equation, keeping in mind that the second and third uh, equation has to be uh, fulfilled as well. Then if I press solve, then I'll get this solution. You have the first equation 2, the second negative 7, and the third is almost 0. It's something to the power of minus 7, which is almost 0. So it's now solved. Um, so this is the first technique. It's pretty easy, straightforward. You just put the the equations. You put put everything to the solver. Just one thing in the solver, and the others as constraints. The th the second way um, or the second method that I propose uh, might be better in case of uh, more equations, or if you have uh, oops, sorry, if you have lot of equations more than the equations uh, three or four or something, because you don't need to add a lot of constraints so uh, if you have five or six you need to add six or five um, constraints other than the the solver so uh, this uh, this uh, technique might be better for uh, more number of equations so what i'm gonna do the same x y and z and assume values let's say assume the, for the the same values that we assumed before and i'll do the same calculation so i'll just copy this here so it does the calculations based on the assumed values okay so um what the what we are gonna do now is to uh i'll just put it 
up a little bit so we can see everything together uh, so we'll do something close to what we did to in in the list least square method uh, technique that we did before so I'll do the difference uh, between the calculated and the values that I should get and then I'll multiply or get the the difference to the power 2 to get rid of any negatives I can have and then get the sum of the squares of the differences and now I can use the solver only to get the difference uh, or, or, or this cell to put it to get this cell to zero by changing the same three cells without putting any constraints so I'll delete the two constraints that we have now so I have just only one input to the solver just this cell to the value of zero by changing the uh, three assumed values and I'll press solve and oops there is something wrong so it's not solving mm. Oh, because I put it to the oh, oh I did a, I did a mistake. So uh, I need this to be value of zero, not value of two. I I put it just uh, the the value that I put before was two, so I put it two as it so uh, it should be put at zero. So if I press solve, then this is two negative seven almost, and this is zero, and you have these three values and compare them to these three values. So you have almost the same. Uh, values of x, y, and z. So both techniques work. I prefer this one because I don't need to put any uh, constraints. You just uh, do the calculation once and then you can go ahead and do this uh, solver, I think. So you can do this or this, either one is gonna work. Um, so this is the, the two ways I propose for um, solving the set of equations. One more thing before I finish uh, this uh, video today. Something I used to do when I used to give this course uh, in class. Um, so uh, just a kind of application. So uh, this is uh, related to the security in Excel kind of. So uh, if you have here this, uh, if you go in the review pan, you will find that you have options to protect your sheet, which means that you can uh, put a password so that you cannot be able to do any changes to the file that you have uh, without uh, knowing the password. So let's say I put the password and then he'll ask you to re-enter the password and I'm uh, trying to do any other changes. So he'll say that the shell, uh, there is a protection and it's read only, you don't have any uh, option to uh, do any changes in the file unless if you unprotect this, uh, the, this sheet. You can protect the sheet or the workbook or, or, or any other thing, you, there are a bunch of options. And there is another option here to uh, protect the whole Excel file. So if you go here to prepare, you'll find here that there is uh, something called the, uh, encrypt the document, which means that you increase the security uh, and it will ask you to add a password and you will add the password again. And now you'll find nothing changed, but if you uh, close the file, and uh, yes, I'm gonna save the uh, save the changes, and now I'll open. Oops, sorry. I'll open this file again, and then it will ask me to put uh, or uh, write down the password before I open it again. If I write the password, it will open the file. So what? Uh, what I'm gonna show you now is just a simple puzzle. So it's an Excel sheet, like any Excel sheet you can have, and it has a password to open it as the password that I've just shown you right now. And uh, this password is consists of five digits, and each uh, digit is unknown. You need to know these five digits. And uh, we have uh, five relations between five these five digits. So, uh, digits. so it's like a puzzle. You have five equations and five unknowns. You can solve it with matrices. You can find uh, so, uh, uh, you know, like find the, the numbers with the solver or whatever way that you like. And uh, in this case, you uh, you can get the five numbers between the relations between these five numbers. And uh, the way you know that your solution is right is by uh, opening the file. If you open the file and put these five digits uh, in the in the password uh, window that uh, that opens and it opens, and then you are 
you are have the right numbers so you have these uh, equations here you can convert this text into equations and solve them together simultaneously to get the digits and the file you'll find uh, the link to this excel file uh, below the video so uh, it's uh, cool to try and uh, hope you enjoy it thanks